hello guys so in this tutorial we are trying going to be designing the first part for the the valve assembly um so this is going to be a piston check valve so we're going to start designing the body then we'll work our way up from there so start a new part file and um, i'm working in inch and let me just check my units is in three um three decimal places so we'll start our first on the top plane uh, sketch and we're going to draw a circle and add your dimensions it is going to be 2.552 and once you have that feature extrude uh, we're going to extrude it in two directions the first one is going to be 2.437 uh, and direction 2 click on direction 2 and up for direction 2 is going to be 1.811 and so you have 2.437 and 1.811 and click OK good so once you have it we're going to click on the front plane uh, make sure you normal to the front plane and sketch and we are just going to draw a circle with the center center over here and drawing it down something like that click this uh, circle and this bottom edge and make it tangent and we are just going to click on this edge combat entity and I'm going to drag it down a little bit because we want it sticking out and just draw a line something like this and this point of this line and this make sure they are vertical and draw a line coming down so and I'm just going to trim the excess one up because I don't need it. So trim to closest. We'll trim there, here, um, there, and that off. And I have this, and I'm just going to add a dimension here. And 0.5 is good. We just need a dimension there to fully define. And go to feature revolve cut, and select this center line, and we're going to do our revolve cut good so we have that the next thing we're going to do is click on the right plane um, sketch number two and we are going to draw a circle and make sure the circle and this edge holding the control key select both the circle and the edge make it tangent it should be fully defined and we are going to go to feature extrude by the mid plane and the distance is going to be 6 and click OK good so we have this now the next thing we are going to do is on the front plane um, sketch um, number 2 and we are going to just draw um, a midpoint line uh, from the center coming down just kind of something going like that that line is an horizontal line and it's going to be a construction line so we are just going to click this edge convert entity and convert that and we are going to draw a line that is tangent to that um, circular edge and something like this just draw something like this for now and draw something like this and that so we are going to fix it so um, we know this line and this line is going to be parallel to each other um, the distance between from here to here I mean the angle is going to be 20 and make sure click this point and this point make sure they are coincident and make sure this line and that is perpendicular so all this line this line and that is also going to be perpendicular so let me move this trying to see what i need um click this line this point and the origin point is going to be vertical to each other 
and this line and this arc that we call van is going to be tangent so you should have something like this then I'm just going to trim this part off and so I have something like that so and the only thing I need now is this dimension uh, which is going to be 1.26 so once you have this and we are just going to revolve it so revolve by this point and it's going to be 360 and you should have something like this then the next thing we are going to do is mirror it over so mirror um, the, the, my revolve is already selected but I will unselect it so I'll show you mirror uh, right plane select right plane and the feature we want to mirror is my revolve and click OK okay so the next thing we are going to do is add a fillet over here and here and the size is going to be 0.394 and click OK good so our part is slowly coming together the next thing is click on the front plane sketch number 2 and we are just going to draw a 4 corner rectangle the center point rectangle and the dimension from here to here is going to be 1.8 1.181 and this dimension is going to be uh, 1.772 and we are can just go ahead and add our fillet now fillet this corner that corner and all the four corners and the fillet size is going to be uh, 0.157 and click OK and since we have that is fully defined we are going to feature uh, let me exit the fillet feature um, extrude by the mid plane and you are extruding it um, to 2.56 in both direction and click on your draft angle and leave it at one degree and so you're drafting it down a little bit and click OK. Good. So we have that. So click on this top face sketch number two and come and draw a center point straight slot. So we draw this, just draw, click on the origin point and pull it out and pu click once and pull it back up and click once. So you have something like that. The distance over here is going to be 2.65 and the radius is going to be 0.8. So once your sketch is fully defined, feature, extrude in the other direction and you want to up to next and, and click OK. Okay. So now click on this top face again, sketch, number two, and we'll draw a circle and add a dimension to the circle, which is going to be a diameter, which is going to be 4.456. Uh, yes, it's four. Make sure 4.456. Let me change my units to three decimal places. So. It is in three. I don't know why it's not showing up. I'm gonna have to do it twice. There you go. 4.456. And now we are going to go to feature extrude, and I'm going to extrude it down. And the distance is going to be point six six eight seven point six eight seven, and click OK. Good. So now the next thing we're going to do is click on your front plane and normal to your front plane. So make sure your front plane is you normal to the front plane and section your part and click OK. So you should have something like this. So now click on the front plane sketch and we are just going to hover up here until you see that orange thing, orange point and click on it and just draw a straight line. And we're just going to draw a shape that looks like this. 
just gonna put that over there um, draw a line coming out so just draw a shape that looks like this and we're going to fix everything with dimension but I always like drawing the shape first so I make this a construction line and start adding my dimension from here to here is 2.5 nine eight uh, I'll pull this out and this is point one eight nine and from here down is one point nine six eight and from here down up to this point is 3.615 um, the angle here is 70 um, the diameter here is from here I'm just gonna pull it down somewhere over there is 1.22 and I'm gonna uh, just pull this down the angle from here to here is 20 um, the dimension from here the diameter so to get a diameter measurement make sure you have a center line and if you click any point to that center line if I move it here it's the radius and if I move it somewhere here it'll give you the diameter it's 1.296 and the last one is this line to the center line which is 1.811 so I have a full that full dimension as dimension is fully defined I'll close off that sketch and go to feature revolve cut and it's gonna revolve cut it and click OK good so still leave your um, leave everything still section your part is still section so click on the front plane sketch again um, this time draw pull down this drop down and draw a three-point corner rectangle so you just draw a three-point corner rectangle so just kind of like start at, at a point right there come down and click once and click drag it out and click once. so you have something like this um, I'm just gonna move this a little bit see this edge click this edge and press convert entity so you get this line and click that line and make it a construction line so I go back normal two. so you should have something like this um, so we're just going to add some dimensions from here to here so make sure you are selecting this line and to that point so you get that kind of like a line dimension and it's going to be 0.256 and um, click this line and make it a construction line and the angle is from here to this line is going to be 50 and um, the dimension here is going to be from here the diameter is going to be 1.142 and the next thing we are going to do is uh, we can just click this point and this line and make them coincident so just to fully define it and we can click this point and this origin point and make them horizontal to each other and once you have that we'll close this sketch off and feature revolve cut by this line not um, this one this one revolve revolve cut by this line and click OK So our sketch, so everything is coming together now. So I'll go number two. We're still in the section view and select the front plane again, uh, sketch. And we are going to just hover over here till you get that orange dot. Click on it and draw a shape like this. Just a, a shape like this. Kind of looks like a, a upside down T. Um, so once we have that we'll make this a construction line and to make sure and you want to make sure that this line is also horizontal to this origin point 
So that's another way you can define it. So once you have that, we're just going to add our dimension from here to here is 1.915 um, from this line to that line is going to be 1.709 and dimension from that for that line is going to be 0 0.748 and let me move this out so you can see and dimension from here to here is going to be 1.378 and dimension from here to here is going to be 120 so our sketch is fully defined we're just going to uh, again close it off and feature revolve cut and click OK and once we have that we are going to mirror this over so uh, mirror, uh, select the right plane, feature to mirror this revolve cut and click OK. Good. So we need to draw another more drill over here. So front plane sketch. And I'm just going to draw a line um, from here, this point out. Or what I can do is um, click on the last sketch which um, the last this revolve code and show that sketch so once you have the sketch shown you can just click that point and draw a line coming out and make that line a construction line again we are going to draw the three corner rectangle so click here drag it down click and drag it out and click so once we have that we're going to make this top point and this line coincident to each other and then the angle from that line to this is going to be 18 and at the center um, click this line and make that a construction line then I'm going to add my dimension from here to here it's going to be um, 1.142 so um, we yeah, can click this point and this origin point and make it vertical and um, I feel like I'm still missing something so let's see what we're missing um, okay so click this point and this edge and also make them coincident so everything should be fully defined so we have 18 uh, coincident to that coincident to that and vertical to this and once you have everything then we can do and go to again let me make sure I have the right dimension let me delete that again it is 1.142 yes is right so I'm going to close up this sketch and feature revolve cut on this side and click OK. Good. So we have everything cut and we are done with the sketch on the inside. So we can just hide that sketch because we don't need it. And I'm going to one section. So we have a ball drill cut on the inside. So the next thing we need to do is cut um, the hole for our bolt. So click on this top face. Um, no, before you click, click your hole wizard and come to position. I'm just going to go normal to click this face and just click any position over here. Um, then we are going to draw, add a little bit more sketch. So draw a circle, um, draw a line to that and draw a line to this point so you have something like this All right so um, click this circle and that point make them coincident and make all three sketch you just made construction uh, so I'm gonna make all three sketch construction and add an angle to this 
so this is going to be 45 and um, the diameter for this circle is going to be 3.307 so so you should have something like this 45 um, 3.307 and so we just did all that to fully define the point of the, that bolt so once you have that click OK over here and come back to type and make sure you select this straight tap inch and the um, dimension you want to select is 9 by 16 by 12 up to next and class tray class is 2b and you should have something like that and click OK so once you have all that information in there click OK and the next thing we are going to do now is just pattern this four times so I'm going to go to pattern um, for this select circular edge select this edge features to pattern are both four equal spacing and click OK good so we're pretty much done with this body the next thing we just need to do is add our fillet in so uh, first let's add a chamfer to this outside edge and the chamfer size is going to be 0 0.098 and click OK by 45 click OK um, then fillets so um, the fillet size is going to be 0.15 and we are going to add it to this top edge and this bottom edge and this corner make sure you select all the corners and the bottom edge I think I have one more over here um, yes yeah, so once you have all that selected click OK good so the next one we can add a, I need to improve, improve my image quality because it's making um, my part jagged and sometimes I feel it makes it slow so the next thing we need to do is um, add a fillet here and the size is going to be 0.11 and click OK and the next place we're going to add a fillet is here and it's going to be 1.575 1.575 is going to be this edge and that edge and click OK the next place we are going to add our fillet is over here fillet and it's going to be 0.5 and it's going to be this edge that edge this edge and that edge oh no I selected the face let me select the edge and we have that click OK um, something went wrong so I accidentally press A, so it should be 0.5, and I click OK. Good. So we need two, one, two more fillet. Fillet. Uh, it's going to be 0 0.025, and it is going to be on this inside edge, and over there. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. This edge down there uh, let me just select uh, I messed up so let me try again 0 0.025 this edge this edge um, this edge and down there good and click OK again let's fill it point zero, it's still at point zero 0.025 we're going to select this edge and this edge I didn't mean to select the face but it's the same thing and once you have that click OK so 
so the last thing we need to do is add a chamfer and we can add it to this edge it is going to and this edge it is going to be point point zero uh, one nine seven and so you're adding to this outside edge and this inside edge and click OK and we are done and you have your valve body so make sure you save it because we are going to be making the bonnet next in the next video and we'll continue building until we have everything then we'll make our assembly once everything is done so make sure you save this as body in a project folder and thank you if you have any questions please leave a comment and i will surely help you out or send me an email thank you and i'll see you in the next video